Hello everyone. Uh, in this video I'd like to talk about the sequencer of the Cork DSN-12 synthesizer and what uh, we can do with it. Um, so let's uh, get into a new pattern and uh, I think one thing that you might have noticed so far is uh, if you say want to uh, have a continuous C note playing uh, over say four steps and you enter this uh, into your sequencer window and hit play, uh, it actually won't really play this continuous note. Instead you will go get uh, something like this. So this uh, pulsing or array of, of C notes. And that's because um, we also have to set uh, the gate of each of our note, uh, notes. And the gate uh, is... Uh, adjustable uh, in the gate window, uh, if we click here. And here we have the option to set the gate for each of our uh, uh, nodes or each, each of our steps. And uh, I think by default it's also uh, always set to 75%. And that means that our node will play for 75% of our uh, uh, step, of one step. And we can adjust this, uh, let's say uh, we set it to 25% and we can hear that our note will play for a short, shorter amount of time. So this is very short, not so short, a little longer, and if we play it uh, at a 100% gate, one might expect that we now have this continuous C note but there's actually this flickering uh, between our nodes. And that is because uh, at 100% it will start our node at the, at the uh, start of our step and it will release it at the end of our step. Uh, so basically our uh, envelope will restart uh, at each step. Um, and. Uh, I think it becomes clear if we set uh, the gate to 25% and uh, add some release to our, or, or some attack to our, um, to our tone. And now we can hear that uh, our envelope will restart with each step. But we can change this uh, by setting the gate to legato and that means that now our envelopes start with the first uh, step or at the beginning of the first step and it will end at the end of the fourth step. Uh, and we can hear it uh, if we add some attack that it now indeed uh, plays uh, or, or plays our envelope over these four steps. Uh, we can also add some release and this means that uh, here it will release our node and then we should have some uh, some more uh, sound after the fourth step. So yeah that's the gate. Um, we also have, to have the option to set uh, the volume for each of our steps individually uh, by default it's set to the max and uh, we might want to uh, have this array of C sounds and le let's uh, set the gate to say 50% and if we now uh, set our volume like this uh, we have this uh, slight uh, increase in volume So I think that's rather straightforward. Uh, then we also have the, uh, the possibility to set the panning for each of our nodes. And we can do so with the PN uh, window, the panning window. And uh, unfortunately you can't really hear that right now because I only have uh, one speaker on my uh, 2DS and right now I don't have the means uh, to record uh, direct audio. Um, but uh, I think it's 
not too complicated. Um, right now it's a set to C or center for each of our note and that means uh, that our tone will play uh, equal amounts uh, on both of our speakers. So the left speaker and the right speaker will get equal amounts of volume from this uh, note. And if I set it to L1, uh, now our left speaker will get uh, a little bit more volume than our right speaker, so it will sound more to the to the. Uh, it will sound more like it's coming from the from the left. And if we set it to L2, uh, now uh, the right speaker uh, won't receive any volume, and all of the volume will go to the left speaker. And uh, of course, you can also apply this to the right speaker. Um, then we also have uh, Kx and Ky. And uh, here we can set uh, the x and y values of our chaos pads. But I won't speak about this right now because I plan to do a separate video uh, about the chaos pad, as I think it's a rather powerful tool. Um, one further uh, thing that you might have noticed uh, is that all of our patterns so far only have 16 steps. And uh, we can uh, basically navigate our uh, sequencer window uh, with the uh, circle pad. So if we press it down, we can navigate between the octaves. And if we press it, press it uh, left and right, we can navigate between our steps. And you will notice, notice that uh, after step 16, all of the numbers are grayed out. That means that these will not play. And um, we can change that uh, by going back to the main win window and go to set. And here we have the ability to increase uh, the size of our patterns. Uh, so right now it's set to 16, so each of our patterns will have 16 steps. And if we increase it, uh, say, all the way to 64, which is the maximum, maximum amount of, uh, of steps, uh, we now have 64 uh, steps uh, in each of our pattern, patterns. Uh, so let's decrease it down to 32. Um, and in this window, we also have the uh, possibility to increase or decrease the speed of our song. Uh, so far, each of our songs uh, had a, a speed of 120 beats per minute. And here we have the ability to de and increase it, uh, maybe to demonstrate uh, more clearly what, what it does. Let's have some uh, very basic uh, bass drum, uh, a bass drum uh, pattern. So let's uh, just use uh, the pitch of our bass drum to create a uh, drum pattern. And if we play it, Um, and increase the BPM, it will now play faster. And of course, there will be uh, a passage of steps uh, where uh, nothing plays because we have set the master step to 32 and we have, uh, haven't really set notes uh, for this uh, amount of... for, for this... Um, for these steps. So we can maybe add this. And now uh, we have sounds. And we also have the uh, possibility to um, already set notes uh, for the steps that go beyond our master step uh, uh, value. And these won't play, but if we now increase um, our uh, master step uh, value, 
we already have some nodes in our sequence of data. Then we also have uh, the possibility to set individual um, BPM and uh, step values for each of our uh, patterns. So right now every pattern has uh, uh, 190 BPM and 64 steps. And uh, if we say uh, adjust the values of A3, um, this will mean that our pattern A3 will now only play 16 steps at a tempo of 116 BPM. If you can test that right now, and we hear that it plays slower. And um, if you go back to A2, this will play at 190 BPM and have 64 steps. And if we want to change that, uh, we can click on this and then hit clear. And now it will take the standard or default values or the master values.